Hello, welcome to Dalton's Wadkin. Uh, today we're going to have a look at three different radial arm crosscut saws. Firstly, the Formula SR650 from SCM, the Growl ZN170, and the BRA450 from Wadkin. So a radial arm crosscut saw is normally characterized by a fixed or adjustable arm with the saw carriage underneath, which the operator will pull across manually. So let's take a look around at the three models. So the Italian SEM SR650 is based on a classic design, as you would expect from SEM. It offers a good quality machine at an affordable price. It's very much a staple of a traditional joinery workshop, offering flexibility and reliability. So as standard, the machine is specified with a 350 millimeter blade and a three kilowatt motor. However, we've got this one spec'd up with a 400 mil blade and a four kilowatt motor uh, with a mechanical brake. This gives you a, a larger cutting depth of 120 mil and obviously the cutting width of 650 mil. Uh, apart from those, there's not really any other options in the range. You can up the size of the saw to the SR750 and the SR900, which give larger cutting widths of 750 mil and 900 mil respectively. So rise, fall and angle setting of the uh, cast iron radial arm is easy enough and the head can also be tilted through to 45 degrees for your compound mitre and beveled cuts. So price wise, the SCM formula is the least expensive of the three cross cuts that we have here today. Um, you can check out all the latest prices and specifications on our website. We'll put all the links in the video description for you. And we'll move on to the Growl from Germany. So right away you'll notice on the Growl that it's a different design to the SCM and the Wadkin, with the guidance bars being mounted vertically rather than horizontally. Also, the blade is directly belt driven, which provides maximum power to the blade. So the standard configuration machine, which is what you see here, has a three kilowatt motor and a 420 mil blade. This gives a maximum cutting depth of 170 mil and a maximum cutting width of 450 mil. So all these features make the growl ideal for applications such as fencing or weathering posts or any, anywhere where accuracy is key. Um, the whole saw movement feels very light and super, super precise. And one very important feature, uh, which is dissimilar to the Wadkin and the SCM is, when angling or rotating your, your head, um, the saw line from the fence remains fixed. So you do not need to compensate uh, your length as you would do on the Wadkin and the SCM. So head tilt is an option, uh, is available on, on the Growl. It's not fitted to this machine, but again, the movement is super precise and really easy and light to use. Um, a few other options that are available are digital readouts to the tilt angle and pneumatic clamping to name a few. Finally, we have the Wadkin BRA crosscut saw, which is built here in Nottingham in the UK. Now, very little has changed since its inception in the 1940s, and you can actually see the archive footage of the first model built being demonstrated, and we'll pop that in a, a link to that in the description or on a banner. Now, arguably, it's a little bit overly engineered, the cast iron arm and the pillar, but that's why we commonly see examples that have been cutting in full production for 50 or 60 years or even more. The BRA is the no compromise, heavy duty crosscut for all day production work. So the Wadkin BRA, um, as standard, has a four and a half kilowatt motor and a 450 mil blade. This lets you achieve a 155 mil cutting height and 330 mil cutting width. Now, this option actually has the longer radial arm, which gives you a, an increased cutting width of 600 mil. Uh, there are also various features, uh, handling accessories available, such as roller tables and automated pushing systems. And if you'd like to see a video of us um, demonstrating them, let us know and we'll, uh, we'll film one. So I'm going to introduce you to Warren. He is one of our operator trainers and he is going to be showing you the three machines making some straight and angled cuts.
Thank you very much for watching. I hope you found the video informative and you've enjoyed it. Please let us know which one of the three, which model uh, you prefer. And if you'd like to check out any other videos, we have videos on fully automatic cross cuts, upcut saws, and all of the range of machinery. Please check out all the links in the description. Cheers.